Hello, everybody. Uh, knife chats with Tobias. I guess I'm live. Um, and uh, we'll see how this goes. Actually, it's going to go very short because it sounds like I've got a phone call. But I guess I'm going to let it ring and see what happens. I might get kicked off if they end up calling my own phone, uh, calling the phone that I'm actually talking to you on. Uh, I just don't have a clue. Any case... <laughs> The main reason I'm doing this video is I wanted to um, thank a couple of people for things that they've sent me. Uh, first one right up front right here is Big Red EDC. Um, oh, sorry, shook the table. He sent me some stickers. Uh, so it was a sticker exchange that we had going on, and uh, I got some stickers from him. He's got my Knife Chat sticker, um, and I would like to thank him for sending these to me. They're pretty cool. Uh, I'm sure you, if you're familiar with Big Red EDC, then you're probably familiar with the stickers also. Uh, if not, you should become very familiar with Big Red EDC because he's got a great uh, channel over there. And if you're not subscribed, you should be subscribed. Uh, I'm not going to say check it out. I'm just letting you know you really should be subscribed. He's uh, got a really great channel over there. And then the next thing, I really got to send a shout out and a big thank you to... Another um, longtime uh, member of my channel, follower of my channel, whatever you want to call it, subscriber, and that is a fellow named BDH. BD pause H. Um, he sent me something that's really cool, and I guess he knew right from the start it was something that I would like, and he is absolutely correct because of. Uh, if you're familiar with uh, some of the stuff you've seen on my channel, you know that I have a tendency to have some of these stranger things show up, not the uh, typical things that you see on the uh, traditional knives or even the things that you see on, um, on you know, the uh, modern folders. And this one really takes the cake. Hi, Lucas. Never heard of it before. I don't know if anyone else has heard of it before. It's from a company called Gentleman's Hardware. I had to move back because the box is so big. This is their number 175. It is the everything but the kitchen sink kitchen multi-tool. And you can see from the box there, there's quite a bit of stuff going on. And I uh, thought I'd bring this out too and just show it to you. This is what's in the box. And uh, as you can tell, it's, uh, I would say, somewhere between... Uh, Jumbo and ginormous. We're talking one, two, three, four, five, six inches, a little more than six inches long. And uh, you've literally got everything but the kitchen sh sink, including, as you can see here, a cheese grater. Who would ever think of putting a cheese grater on a knife? But that's what it is. I guess you could use it to grate other things. Uh, I've already decided that this little piece of plastic that they have covering it is not going to be enough. I will definitely have to uh, find something a little bit better to cover that uh, up because uh, I'm going to probably make a little leather pouch to cover it up so that when it's folded up, I don't happen to grate my skin with it. Um, everyone talks about hobo knives and uh, the spoon on them being too small. Uh, uh, uh. You cannot say that about this spoon. We're talking just the length from the handle. One, two, three, four, five inches long. The bowl of that spoon is two inches. We're talking about a true tablespoon here. I mean, we're talking big. And look at how far, you know, you can actually go and stir stuff with that when you're out there camping. And um, you want a big fork? We got a big fork, and the cool thing is, is once I get this fork out, um, the next thing happens. So you see the fork on there? It's just a two-time fork, uh, so you know you can like uh, uh, poke hot dogs and stuff like that that are on the fire. But once you do that, this comes into two parts. So it's kind of a take-apart knife, and on. <laughs> well, you know what? There is just so many cool things on this thing that what I'm going to end up doing is doing a uh, 
a video on this knife later, but I just really wanted to tease you a little bit about this. And it's, it's from a gentleman's hardware, so it is not a knife company, but talk about something that is really cool. And uh, I see myself using this, um, you know, when I'm out grilling and also uh, uh, a number of other uses. I mean, yeah, it's big, but talk about uh, useful. There's quite a few things in here that I will talk about in a future video because uh, this thing deserves a, uh, a longer video than uh, what I would do uh, in a, a live chat like this. But so be looking forward to uh, not a, a, a short one, not one of those uh, quick cuts, but an actual video on this gentleman's hardware. Again, thanks a lot, BDH, for this. This is really cool. And uh, as soon as that arrived, it reminded me of so many other little uh, knickknacks that I've got. This one right here, you, you saw the everything but the kitchen sink. Well, how about the clever cleaver? Uh, cleavers were all the rage last year, you know, folding cleavers. But this is not a folding cleaver. It is the clever cleaver. Uh, again, something that was uh, to be used uh, when camping, fishing, or just around the kitchen. So I'll have to do a video on that one too. And the main reason I picked up the clever cleaver is because long before the, uh, the folding cleaver craze hit everyone last year, I was already looking at um, fish cleavers and stuff. So I've got those cleavers I've got to talk about too, like uh, this one here is by Robeson, with, and then I also have one uh, by K-Bar. And these are fish cleavers. They're small cleavers for camping and such, and uh, I'll have to do a video on those in the near future. So you see, I've got a lot of stuff planned for the future. Let me get this kind of straightened out. If you notice, these are not stuck down. Like I said, if I put them down permanently like the cat will chew them to bits so I don't want to do that uh, any case so I've got cleavers to talk about I've got the gentleman's hardware to talk about and I've got a couple other things that I'll be talking about in the near future I've got another video on Camp Kings coming up soon real soon I've got to get one more in that I'm looking for, and then I will be doing a video on the history of the Camp King knife. Uh, so thank you, Rough Rider, for bringing out a new Camp King. It inspired me to do something on that. Um, something else that um, I wanted to bring up is um, someone had mentioned about this knife, how large it was, that it was a pretty big bar tool. And that is true. I mean, we're talking about a knife that, as you see, is one, two, three, about five inches long. And they said it's pretty long for a uh, for a bar knife or a picnic knife. Um, and that might be the case. But if you notice here, the open elm, this is also their picnic knife. And it's just as long. And I think this is an open L. So it's a number 10 open L. So... There you go. Going good, Josh. Thanks for dropping by. Um, so, you know, if you're talking about size, yeah, the it, it is kind of large, but it's no larger than the Open L. Uh, it is definitely heavier than the Open L. Um, and also, here is just a regular bartender's tool. Well, if you consider a fish-shaped bartender's tool a... Uh, a regular bartender's tool but it is also five inches long so uh, if you want something that's going to easily open up a champagne bottle or so uh, something that's about five inches long is going to work a whole lot better than your typical uh, 91 millimeter um, uh, bartender tool or uh, 91 millimeter uh, Swiss Army knife with a corkscrew on the back and speaking of which um, if you're trying to open a bottle of wine, do you want to use a knife with a corkscrew like this? Or even better, this one here. Notice the lengths of those two. Or do you want to try and do it with this knife, which is a Rough Rider uh, Select Barrel um, uh, Bartender's Tool? which is not a bad little knife, but you know, you got a really nice sheep foot blade on there, nice wood handles, and then you've got the uh, 
those, um, not the best of, but a can opener and a cap lifter on this side. But then you have this corkscrew here, if I can get it out, kind of short compared to these. Which one do you really want to try and put into a wine bottle and pull it out? Because once you get that cork into the wine bottle, that's how much cork you got. You, you've got about an inch of cork in the wine bottle to pull it out with versus something like such where you've got a good two inches. This has gone all the way through the cork. And the same thing here. You've got a cork that is going to make it all the way through in order to get into there and pull out the bottle or pull out the wine. So um, it's really when you get down to it, you want a larger uh, uh, tool when you're using it for a, a waiter's tool. So, and this, we're talking about a serious size blade so you've got a much more useful blade than you have on the other ones um, just my thoughts on it and that's why it is as big as it is um, yeah man I have got to get something under the table so it'll be uh, level I'm bouncing it all over the place also here's just a regular waiters tool and you notice it's the same length but obviously much bigger and much stockier um, uh, otherwise, a uh, couple things that you're going to be seeing coming up in the very near future. Uh, I'm going to be looking at a couple products by Frost. I realized that recently I have given Frost a bit of a raw deal, and part of it is deservedly so. I mean, Frost could do better with uh, some of its products. It, it doesn't make, uh, they could do a little bit better on, on their quality control. But there are some frost knives that I have that I think I do like and I do uh, actually um, enjoy using and carrying. And so I'm going to be talking about some of those in the future. And one of them is actually the, I, I just picked this one up. I'll be talking about it uh, in the near future. Another one of the Choctaws, but this time it's their three and three quarter inch Choctaw. And I'm going to compare that to um, probably my Dragonfly 2 as well as the larger Choctaw and give you my thoughts on the, uh, on the two knives. Um, you know, is this going to be a better knife than the larger Choctaw? We'll see because I've actually got to do something with both of them first. Another thing that I want to talk about are the... Um, the copperhead knives that uh they're they're kind of small they're not big copperheads are three and a quarter inches long uh that um that jim frost came out with uh that are kind of interesting and really not too bad when you get right down to it so a couple good things I, i'm gonna have to say about frost uh and you know and let's face it if if someone is doing something good you should you should uh say they're doing something good and if they're doing something that they could do better it doesn't really hurt to call them out on that either um something else now if i can find this it's in one of these knives i know it's in one of them i think it's in one of them oh i should show you these are some little japanese camp style knives that i have but uh this one is very much like the uh the really uh, large Japanese knives. I don't think it has the blade on it that I want, though. Oh, yeah, it does. This is the one. I think it is. Yeah, this. I had been wondering and wondering and wondering just what these things were for. Um, you know, I, I thought it was some kind of strange fork or something. And I guess it is a kind of fork. But... Uh, I was amazed. I was looking at um, uh, what is it? Levine's uh, books on uh, knives and stuff, and he actually uh, talked about this kind of uh, fork-like instrument on uh, on these knives, and um, it was actually used. Uh, nope, they're not for corn on the cob. Uh, have anyone ever re see all those movies where? Uh, you got the uh, hobos out there and they're picking up the cigarettes or the cigars off the street and they got just that little stubby piece of a cigar and everything. That's what these are actually for. It's to stick into a, uh, into a piece of a, a 
a cigar so that you can smoke that last little piece of cigar. So it's actually a smoker's tool. Um, who would have thought? Um, I, I, it was the last thing that would have come to my mind. But uh, apparently, they used to be pretty popular to put on a knife. And I guess uh, when you think of Depression era and stuff like that, yeah, it's a big roach clip. That's all this is. <laughs> a big roach clip. So, uh, you know, so you can stick it on your cigar and get that last couple puffs out of your cigar. Uh, things you learn when you start reading in books and such. Uh, I would have never guessed that in a million years. I guess you can use it for other things. But, uh, yeah, if, if you've got an old stogie you want to smoke, there you go. Go out there, find one on the street, and you're you're set, you know. Nothing like smoking somebody else's cigar. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I should leave at this point, but uh, I do need to leave soon. But I I I saw that in the book, and it's like, man, I gotta I gotta let people know because that is something I I wonder how many people would know that, and uh, so I had to bring it up. I I should also talk about these knives in the near future too. They're kind of cool. They're Japanese made knives, and uh, they are a type of camp knife. So I'll probably talk about those in the future too. Um. What else? Uh, do I have anything else nearby? A um, couple more classics, but I'm going to be doing a quick cut on both of these. So uh, one of them is called Building Bricks and the other one is called Black Cats. They'll both be in the same uh, quick cut. Uh, I'm not going to show them to you. I'm going to tease you. So there you go. Yeah, I think so. The The dragons on these things, I mean, the, the detail on these handles is pretty dang cool. I really do like them. Um, and um, they're really, uh, you know, for what they are, they're pretty nice. Um, this is uh, what you see on the back side here. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I believe they're from the 60s or 70s or so. Uh, and you see that purple? That is really nice. I think that's really the reason I was picking them up. Only, you thought only, only cartoon cats and Disney movies smoke cigars. <laughs> All right, you got me on that one. You really got me on that one. <laughs> I'm going to be right back. I got to show you something. Uh, I've been trying to keep this a secret. I need to do a video on it, but I haven't. Uh, bear with me for two seconds. You guys, talk amongst yourself. They say never walk away, you know, from your audience. They'll When you come back, they'll all be gone. Uh, Eleven of you stuck around. I think you all saw this before. It's a, a Camilla's Air Force uh, jet pilot knife, whatever you want to call it. Um, well, and I was talking about one of my grail knives in a video before. Well, I didn't quite get the grail knife, but I got something pretty close to the grail knife. A Camillus jet pilot knife. But notice the difference. I finally got one that has a six inch blade instead of a five inch blade. Um, the Marbles jet pilot knife with the six inch blade is the true grail knife. This is the uh, as close as I will probably ever get in my lifetime to getting one though. And I got this one at a steal of a price. The only problem with it is um, it did not come with a sheath or did not come with an original sheath. Uh, so you will be seeing a video in the near future about this one too. The, uh, the six inch um, uh, Camillus Air Force survival knife, uh, six inch blade, 11 inches overall, I believe. Um, and... Uh, 
Uh, it was available, I think, from 1954 to 57, so it was made for a very short time. Uh, very hard to find, very hard to come by as it is, and usually when you do find one, they are not cheap. The pommel is not marked but with a date. They never were at the time. But uh, finally got one. Uh, did not come with the sheath. Still need to grab a sheath one of these days. But uh, the old, uh, I'm that proverbial pig in the poop right now. I really am that happy to have this knife. Uh, I've had it for almost six to eight weeks now. I had it since before Christmas, matter of fact. So I've had it for a while. Uh, and I just haven't gotten around to doing a video on it. So I, now that I've said it here, I need to get off my butt and get this uh, video of my uh, six-inch jet pilot knife up too. Um, I don't know what else I could uh, really talk about tonight uh, other than, uh, once again, say thanks to uh, BDH for my everything but the kitchen sink uh, multi-tool which is going to be a fun time. Uh, and also another thank you to Big Red EDC for the sticker. Uh, by the way, uh, I, I have uh, ordered new stickers. They're going to be different than the green one that I have here. Um, like I said, I, I, I made 50 of these. I'm almost out of them. Um, the only way a person is going to get one of these now is if they win a contest or something. I will be running a contest, a giveaway pretty soon. Uh, and so the winner will get one of those stickers, probably along with one of the new stickers. Um, and I think um, I might have to start doing uh, more um, uh, sticker swaps instead of just giving out the stickers because, uh, well, I don't know. I don't mind giving them away either. Uh, as long as you're watching my channel, uh, I do actually... Uh, like the fact that you would actually write yeah new stickers it's going to be uh it's going to be pretty cool too um uh, i like this one i might reorder it sometime in the future i wasn't thinking of doing it again but i made a new one and uh i think it fits the channel a little bit better than this one so uh you'll be seeing those soon and uh it'll be uh i think a lot of people will like it uh especially anyone who's entering into a giveaway. Um, beyond that, I think I probably uh, need to call it a, a night. I know this is a little shorter than usual, uh, but I got some things I got to get done tonight, uh, uh, including taking a shower so I can go to work tomorrow because uh, no one needs to, me to, no one needs to smell me like this. Let me put it that way. Thank goodness you guys are on the other end of the camera. Uh, with that said, uh, I think I'll let you go, uh, and uh, uh, I will, uh, yeah, I guess that's the classic now, uh, the classic sticker. They might be worth something someday, like uh, like an old case knife. Uh, probably not. Any case, uh, I hope everyone really liked the, uh, the, the video on uh, on uh, my, my survival video. I, if you did, let me know, because... Uh, I was ready to wrap up. But if you like the survival video, the one about the fishing gear, let me know. I, I think I've got a couple other plans for survival gear. And if nothing else, you know, it gives me an excuse to break out some camouflage. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let you guys go. You have a, a great evening or a great morning or a great whatever it is, wherever you are right now. And uh, thanks a lot for supporting my channel and thanks for being here tonight.